They really have seemed like they are keeping mana up for deny. So I'm thinking like maybe maybe this gets denied and then we can reckoning. Wow, we ate the deny out of their hand. Okay, now definite worth. We ate the deny. All right, there goes Lee Sin, there goes Zed. And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Scion LeBlanc, our next meme tier deck. Uh, this is gonna be my second time playing a Scion deck. This one was completely um, built by a viewer submitted. Um, and so this was a donation deck that I did not build at all. So I'm not gonna take credit for it. Um, but yeah, those are the two Ds up there. That's what that means usually. But we have uh, Scion LeBlanc together. It's Noxus, it's Freljord. Um, and a lot of cool little th interactions here with the two. So it looks like we're going to be trying to get the reputation going. We're going to want five plus power things quite a bit. Um, you know, and we got a lot of those. We're even going to have like this salt and stitches card that can discard a reborn grenadier and give it plus two plus zero this round. So it taxes as a five two. And so of course that five two is important for um, reputation and, and for LeBlanc. Um, but besides that, at the top end, five mana, we're going to have Warmonger. Hearthguard, Assessor, so you can see like the Hearthguard Assessor, so like we're going to have a lot of things deal with the 5 plus power allies. We'll also have two copies of Reckoning. So we got Reckoning to destroy all the, the small things the opponent has, and Assessor to draw a whole bunch for us. And of course we'll have Reckoning to go along with Frostbite, that's always a little good combination, where if they have something that's larger than 5 power, you Frostbite it and first, and then can cast that. But we also have this new card that's... Uh, Scion's champion spell, Roar of the Slayer, to play, discard a card, and then you kill the weakest enemy. So it's vengeance, but always on the weakest enemy. Well, if you combine that with uh, Frostbite, now we're talking about a card that's just, you know, three mana discard a card vengeance, because the weakest enemy will be exactly what you want it to be. So the cool little combinations here. All right, so that's going to be our Scion LeBlanc deck. We'll just kind of see how it goes. Uh, we're playing it on it over in normal. The the person that submitted it said, "Let's just go and play it in normal for meme tier." Let's see how they do. Yeah, it's kind of like LeBlanc Ash, but Scion. Zed Lee Sin. Cool, cool. Hadn't seen Lee Sin in a minute. Let's go ahead and discard or get rid of these. Actually, let's keep the flasheries. Get rid of those fives. We got a lot of fives in our deck. So it turns into a 4-2, not quite enough for um, you know being five power thing for reputation. I'm basically just holding on I'm just holding on to this thing, this Roar of the Slayer to pair with the Fallen Rider. A mountain goat. Now I feel like I need to play a Fallen Rider. I don't want that mountain goat to hit me right away. But I want to save the roar of the slayer. Oh, I should have attacked. I meant to attack. That's what was, that was my plan. If I discarded the fallen rider to like Grenadier, we would not be able to like cast the 4 2 version. And the 4 2 would just trade with this thing anyway. Solari Priestess. We, we going old school. All right, so three spell mana or whisper words, and I'm gonna choose three spell mana. I think. Looks like we'll have that option again. Maybe I should have whisper words. With both these three mana spells, flash, flash reason, roar of the slayer. I kind of wanted to hold on to them, but. River shape the land and give it life. All right, Scion's already a third of the way leveling up, and we kind of haven't really done anything. Has anybody seen a non-leveled Scion? I have not. I have every time a Scion's been played, it's been immediately leveled up, from what I've seen. But it's always been the Draven Scion deck. This yeah, deck may, like, we may actually play a Scion that's not quite leveled up yet. Give me that 
That could happen. Yeah, okay, chat saying they've always seen Scion leveled in every game so far. Pledge yourself to the shadows. I'll play this thing. And now if they want to attack in like twin disciplines, we have flash freeze. Do you get to draw a spell? A gift from the river folk. That's how it goes. Still. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. They really have seemed like they are keeping mana up for deny. So I'm thinking like maybe maybe this gets denied and then we can reckoning. That still kills my four two though. Maybe this was just a bad plan. I probably should have just drawn two. Wow, we ate the deny out of their hand. Okay, now definite worth. We ate the deny. All right, there goes Lee Sin. There goes Zed. So they're willing to deny that. We had already attacked. A chill in the air. Yeah, our Scion may not be leveled up. It's only at 27. Needs 8 more. I guess it counts itself, though, right? Yeah, because then it even counts itself. How can it not be leveled up ever? There we go. I guess that will do. We're playing Poppy Brom and Poppy Poros, but our Poppy Brom up next is gonna be, you know, it's a meme tier Poro deck. Teemo, Caitlyn, going Bandle City. We do not need the extra card draw. I kind of feel like this isn't a very good Glory Seeker matchup. They're probably going to have a lot of um, Pokey Sticks and Mystic Shots and everything like that. I do kind of really like... Maybe I keep this card. I do kind of really like the Avros and Hearth Guard, but it is a 5, so maybe I shouldn't be keeping it. But what I like about it is, you know, it's going to grow everything in our deck, and we're going to draw a lot of cards in our deck, right? Because they're pop cap deck could make us draw a lot of cards and there'll be a lot of really big cards is not the best. Me miss not by a long shot. So we'll get two flash bomb traps from the what Caitlyn attack. The That's not like the worst thing ever. Just two traps. So making Caitlyn zero. So then we do this, and now we kill Caitlyn. This one one mana stinky wump has really done a whole lot in this game. You know, it's it's hit us a couple of times. It slowed me down right there. It has this stinky wump's been a little bit of a problem. The first meme deck, Invoke the Shell Folk. It was a curious Shell Folk deck. And it was awesome. It was it was one that um, just basically you created so many cards that you'd had just had infinite cards in hand all the time. 
and I lost a couple of games because it wasn't easy to play because you would just have all the options in the world every game. And so I did lose a couple, but um, definitely had like the tools to win, right? Because he had every card ever. But so it was a lot of fun. If you like having access to every card ever. Uh, maybe we discard Scion. Grant plus two plus zero or Overwhelm? Like, I'd rather grant Overwhelm. But I'd rather have, like, that Scion for next round. Hmm. The Trapper's pretty awkward. I guess we play it. But, like, I don't really want to draw the 5-5. Five, five. I guess drawing the 5-5 five, is not bad. And they're going to make me draw more cards. Actually, yeah, so it just makes sense to play it. Okay. Never mind. We all, we all good. Next round we go like Hearth Guard plus one one. Don't those fools know I own this city. Okay, they did plant five. That can't be. We're getting some five fives. Five fives. This will be my magnum open. Let's plant five again. Our strength is yours. We're gonna draw some big stuff though. Double Averroes and Hearthguard, everything in our deck, plus two plus two. So we will definitely draw some big stuff. Yeah, you're gonna try it? Yeah, that deck was awesome. Definitely recommend trying it. Nice. Plus two plus two Scion. <laughs> That's a big Scion. My opponent's not playing Frostbite. They got Bandle City, not Freljord. The old 12-8. Oh man, that card is good. Ava Achiever, and that's perfect after the Karina. So like, they... They had a really good hand here of like the double Karina, then Ava Achiever, right? Like that triple six. I would say it's pretty evil. But man, that's going to be pretty good. All these things are doubled. Okay. Yeah, I think we play this first. I don't necessarily want to draw more cards right now. I want this Overwhelm. 5-5. Five, five. So that's 17 Overwhelm. Remember back in the day when Triparian Assessor used to cost 4 mana? We could play Assessor right here as well. I'll put them to negative one. That's not good enough. That'll put them to zero. Still not good enough. Just 12 power overwhelm. Scion just breaking through. Doing its thing. We are two and O oh with Scion LeBlanc. Lurkers! Man, I haven't played against Lurkers in a in a minute. I don't know if I've ever said that before. <laughs> Use that term to play something in a minute. Alright, double trapper is nice. I'm actually think I'm just gonna keep all this. So we don't get to do anything till round three. Actually, let's send LeBlanc back. LeBlanc doesn't really block. But like the Whisper Words is really nice. And then the getting like these one mana five fives is gonna be really nice, especially with the Whisper Words. Alright, good hand. I'm considering playing this Grenadier. We can always rely on you yeah, I think we play the Grenadier. We get that discard, turn that thing into a 4-2, but now it makes them really not want to attack, right? Because we have this ephemeral blocker. But they probably put a lurk thing on top that they want to attack. All right, so we get to actually trade with this one drop. That's really that's a you know very good trade for us. CT Cyclone coming in with the good vibe, saying I just came from YouTube. Welcome, welcome, CT Cyclone. Thanks for joining in over here on Twitch. Happy to have you here. We've had the last couple of days, we've had, you know, three, four, five people come in, say they're coming in from YouTube. That's awesome. 
Yeah, Zach, Zach asks, have you ever le found a legit good deck on meme tier day? And absolutely, definitely have done that a couple of times. Um, and I don't remember, so we played back in the day after Give It All came out, whenever we had the KDA expansion, uh, we played a, a Give It All Poros deck with like Braum. And the deck was ended up being legit good, and and I actually played it in the seasonal tournament <laughs> from from meme tier day to the seasonal tournament. All right, I could use flash freeze, but I can also use flash freeze at any other point. I feel like I'm gonna wait on the flash freeze for like a pike or a rexai or anything like that instead of just saving uh, one of those things. All right, am I gonna go warmonger? This is just uses like the most of my regular mana here. Like if I go Enrage Yeti plus Risen Rider, it doesn't. I'm just gonna do this, because next round we probably draw like that other Enrage Yeti, and we can go like Rider plus Yeti plus Yeti. So like next round we'll have an awesome round. Lu Pang, I'm doing great today. How are you doing? Boom. Alright, that's one out of four for the Whisper Words. More of the Slayer. Hey, there you go. Thank you, Cyclone. Cyclone says, I was able to beat Lab of Legends because of you. Thanks a lot. Awesome. So, um, yeah, I really like putting out those Lab of Legends videos. I know they like, they don't get as many views as like the normal videos, but that's okay. I think that's a good guide to have for all the champions. I'm, I think I've currently posted like 13 of the 20 champions. There's a playlist. I was really disappointed whenever we had this expansion and there were not new champions. I was really disappointed with that. Not new champions for the Lab of Legends mode. You're stuck on Malphite to do the 5 out of 5 thing? Okay. Um, with Malphite, I used the Mana Flow power. But that is up there. So if you head to the YouTube channel, there's a playlist for Lab of Legends guides. And so if you go to that... Uh, that guide section, there's a video of me playing Malphite on there. If you want to just watch that and, and see what I did. I'm going to waste the two mana anyway, so I guess, like, I'm one thing away from making that cost two mana, and so that's sad, but I was going to waste that two mana anyway if I just passed the round. Kind of waiting on these for the champions still. All right, Rek'Sai. So Rek'Sai will just die at the end of the round, but they get to play it here to like have it just be a good blocker, to try to keep me from attacking with anything else. And I think that's gonna work. I think we're gonna just simply pass the round because there's not really, like, could attack with everything, but let's just go ahead and pass. So, you know, three mana keep me from attacking. That's the that champion. All right, since they're using the Bone Skewer, put Rek'Sai back. We can Frostbite. Now we can attack. All of those can definitely go in, and yeah, these can go in too. Like, yeah, we can just send everything in. Yeah, there's no, yeah, exactly. There's no incentive to be legendary except for a personal challenge. That is true. Um, you do get extra, like, Doing those every day is pretty good because you get a lot of bonus XP, like your first few lab games each day. And so even if you you, you know don't love like the labs, I definitely recommend doing a few games because the games are really short, right? Especially like the first ones, especially on like normal. And you get a lot of bonus XP for doing those every day. So even if you're just trying to build your collection, um. You know, I definitely recommend just trying those out. This is pretty awesome, though. Three mana vengeance. Bona thought it was pretty awesome, too. The trap is set. I have not seen Scion Viego yet. I have not tried Scion Viego. I have not seen anybody else try Scion Viego yet. I'll do that. There we go. Oh, Oddman Od in chat has a Scion Viego list for you. There you go. 
Darkness! My old friend is showing up. Man, we're sending this all back. Yeah, sending everything. I don't really need, like, flash freeze against darkness control, and, like, the three one's gonna die to everything. Question is, is Viego viable in this meta? And I would definitely assume so. Um, I'm not ex with that being said, I don't know exactly exactly how you build Viego for this meta. But I would absolutely assume it is viable. They gave the Glory Seeker minus one, minus zero, and vulnerable. So I don't want to play it with that vulnerable. Took the bait. You can get leveled Viego with with Scion in one round. That is pretty nice. Scion plus Scion has a lot of cool things in Shadow Isles that it can do. You know whether it's the um, the Island Navigator, the one drop. No, that's not Island Navigator. Cyclone with the tier one sub. Yo! Thanks for that support, Cyclone. Y'all get some hype boats in the chat for our brand new sub. First sub of the day. Awesome, thank you so much for that support. Zach says the Scion, the Scion Viego decks I've tried feel really clunky. I can see that. You gotta keep that curve low. And that could be difficult to do. But anyway, just Scion it with Shadow Isles because you have the Island something <laughs> card. Islander. There you go. Oblivious Islander. Oh, right, I figured out the name. Oblivious Islander card. I guess I'm just playing this card. Sorry, so they have Oblivious Islander. That's great with Scion. But then you can also do stuff like Atrocity or um, Viego's Champion Spell or Chronicler of Ruin. Any of those things, all awesome. With um, I guess I'm going to block. <clears throat> with Scion, sorry. This Vagar is pretty scary. I feel like just challenging the Vagar, they're gonna, you know, use whatever removal spell to keep Vagar alive. Yeah, like Vile Feast. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. I'll let them face me. Yep. Yeah, just one damage. Things are all over the place, and it's made Glory Seeker pretty unreliable. That's what we've kind of seen in these games. That's the card I need was this Roar of the Slayer earlier. That can kill the Vagar, but I guess I could Roar the Slayer and they respond with a Vile Feast and put a little 1-1 one -one in play. That wouldn't be so good. Yep. That's why I did not roar the Slayer. What was that card right there? Witness true power. Man, Train 5 is pretty good. Alright, so the good news is I should be able to kill this Vagar. I do have to discard something. I'm just going to discard the Trapper. But at least we'll be able to kill that. We've got a little bit more card draw with these Whisper Words. They have had the Vagar in for a few rounds. So I'm not sure if, if it's doing 4 or 5 damage. Ugh, I would have much rather discarded this card than the Trapper, but that's fine. It's doing 5 now. A 
All right, so I could have done the play that hearth card before drawing two, and, and you know maybe I should have. It would have gave another plus one plus one to the scion, but I wanted to see like with this stuff dying, I wanted to see if we would find like a triparian assessor and be able to play that. Let's go. I will shape death as easily as clay. Kill them all. This is burning. Death follows. Sion is scary. <laughs> yeah. Steady as life and death. They have a lot of life still. With that drain five last round. We'll have the Nexus healing here with this thing. Did you call me? Hmm. Mark of the Owls. That's an odd way to protect the champions, Mark of the Isles. But I guess it works. How are they going to deal with the Scion? That's always the question. How do you deal with Scion? Like, they have a lot of cards over there. They have Darkness, which is really cool. So if I discard the Grenadier right now, well, I mean, now I would just kill the 1-1, one, one, not the Overseer, but I'm just going to wait till next round. Minus 2 power on this thing. No, oh, they just drew many more after all that card draw. Gross. After all that card draw. Yeah, they, they should be able to kill us now. Alright, so I, I had to kill the Vagar. That was too greedy of me with waiting on this. I should have killed Vagar. Maybe I should have just, oh, you know, started with Grenadier, Grenadier. Something good. I mean, that's a champion, but... Man, that went that went really poorly for me. Yeah, Minimorph's permanent. It's, it's the best answer to Scion there is. Yeah, they just made another darkness. Oh, I feel like I messed that game up. Should have just killed that Vagar. Yeah, you, you managed to harrow with a full board of Scions that and Scions returns. That is... Yeah, that's absurd. Okay, so this deck should have, like, they have Ionia answers to Scion. Let's keep the LeBlanc. See what else we got. Yeah, Mirror Karma deck. That's going to be Mirror Mage with Karma. Mirror Mage being able to copy spells. Then Karma also copy spells. And it should be pretty silly of just a whole lot of copying. That's what we got going on there. Pono with the slow hand. My move. 
Opponent with a very slow hand. Submission or death for all who live. The very slow hand. Yeah. That was just run him over. Do nothing but then play Viego on five, you're just gonna get ran over. It was inevitable. And that's pretty inevitable to be a win. Scion LeBlanc. Four and one. We'll take four ones all day. Yeah, Roar of the Slayer looked pretty good. I may have to like consider that in like Draven Scion, honestly. It did look good. Um, but it looked really good, especially like with like the flash freeze and stuff like that. I guess it didn't look as great that last game, the game four, but that was with the Scion Champion spell. So there we go. You know, like adding in some some frostbite um, and just big heavy hitters, and you know it's not flashy, but it gets the job done. You have like a bunch of you know very aggressive units that make life pretty difficult and good size. The warmonger, the hearth guard, giving things good size as well. So you have that going too. Is this deck going to be amazing and ranked? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. You know, but for like just slamming down some games in normal and just you know having scion just win some games is you know very fun uh scion deck all right so that's going to be it here for scion leblanc those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button and leave those comments please those comments always help out the channel let me know what you think of the deck if you try it out yourself other decks you want to see next week on meme tier monday with the new cards let me know there in the comment section um, but as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.